Now for this question, I would always encourage you to start sketching a diagram. And so what we've got here then is we're told that at time t equals zero, let's just put that in t equals zero, a ball is projected vertically upwards from a point O to a maximum height of 40 meters. And the ball is modeled as a particle moving freely under gravity. So there's going to be the acceleration due to gravity that's going to act downwards. That's going to be g, g being 9.8 meters per second per second. And we've got to show that the speed of projection is 28 meters per second. So that's when we project this from here upwards. Let's call this u. We've got to show that that is 28 meters per second. So what's going to happen then? The ball is going to rise up 40 meters and then at this point here, when it's traveled 40 meters, it's going to come to instantaneous rest, zero meters per second. So to do something like this, to find out what u is, we're going to need to look at the equations for constant acceleration, the SUVAD equations. So what I would do would be to label S, U, V, A and T. And we need to take a positive sense and always take a positive sense in the direction of motion, initial motion, which was upwards. So we'll have upwards as positive. So S is displacement, then U is initial velocity, V final velocity, A acceleration, and T is the time. So S, the displacement from O, it's 40 meters. So put that in as 40. U we're trying to find. V we know, the final velocity, zero. The acceleration is in the opposite sense to the plus direction, so it's going to be minus 9.8. And t, well, we're not worried about what t is up here, so we can forget about that. So we're looking for an equation that links these variables together that hasn't got t in. And you should know those equations. Here they are, just as a reminder. So we're looking for an equation then that hasn't got t in it. And it has to be this one here, v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So if we use that then, we can just say here using v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Then what are we going to have? Well, v was 0, so v squared is going to still be 0. We've got u squared that we're trying to find plus 2 times a, which is minus 9.8 times s, the displacement, which is 40. And if we tidy this up, we've got 0 equals u squared, and this term here comes to minus 784. If we add 784 to both sides, we end up with u squared equaling 784. Then we just need to take the square root of that to get u. And it turns out to be an exact value. u turns out to be 28. 28 meters per second. Now normally when you take the square root of a value it would be plus or minus. But you can see that it's going to be the positive value for this one because upwards is positive and it was initially projected upwards. So we take the positive value. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea then how to do the first part.